I didn't realise when I was placing this order that everything would be so tonal. So I thought I would dress on theme to fit the haul. This is the perfect autumn winter haul, guys. Like, look no further. This is the perfect autumn winter haul. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Zara autumn winter haul. This one is for the neutral queens. Like, sorry. I'm going to get straight into it because I cannot wait to try these pieces on. Thank you so much for clicking on this video while you're here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah, let's go and try on some gorgeous tonal autumn winter pieces. This is quite possibly my favourite thing in the haul. It's pretty simplistic but just the vibe, the colour, everything about it I just absolutely love. It's this gorgeous one shoulder chocolate brown asymmetric top with this little like strap buckle detail on this side and I just think it's stunning like I think it's so versatile it could be worn dressy it could be worn a little bit more casually it could be worn for work it's just one of those pieces that you can keep in your wardrobe and will never go out of fashion like this is absolutely caps your wardrobe like in a top the colors stunning the ruche detail stunning I love this buckle detail with like the little silver hardware as well I'm just obsessed with it I think it's gonna fit really really nicely it's got a really nice drape at the bottom and I just think it's going to be really, really flattering. I got it in a size small, probably. And it was £22.99, which I think is really reasonable for a top like this, what you can keep in your wardrobe years and years, wear it over and over again. It feels really nice fabric as well, like quite lightweight, but also not like summery. It's just a vibe. So hear me out with this one. Hear me out. I know it's autumn winter, but I just couldn't resist. I just couldn't resist, okay? No matter how much I powder my face, I am always just so shiny as soon as this light goes on. Like, I just do not know what to do about it. Like, do I turn the light off? I just don't know. So I know this is a mini skirt, right? But the pattern, the design is given autumn winter. Like, it's not necessarily summer. It's like a brown checkered print. And I just don't think I would wear this in summer. I did get one of these skirts from Zara in the summer and it was plain white with like a brown belt. That was summer. This... This is given autumn to me, like with a pair of tights, a pair of little boots, a pair of Uggs. Yes, a pair of Uggs with this. Adorable. I love the print on it. It's like a brownie mustard with like hints of black, like checkered print. I'm not very well describing that, but you know what I mean. You've got your little black belt detail on there as well. And then it's actually shorts in the back. One thing I love that Zara does is when you do get like a really short skirt, they always put shorts underneath, which I just feel like... It's such a good little thing that they do. Like it just makes it so much easier to wear like short pieces and not worry about like them blowing up in the wind or like being too short or anything like that. But this one has shorts actually built into it. So I guess it's like a skirt, skirt on the front and then shorts on the back. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I would rather it be a skirt all the way around and then just have the shorts underneath. I don't necessarily love that, but from the front, the cutest little mini skirt ever. And I did actually picture it with this top. Like that was the outfit that I had in mind and I think it's cute so we're going to try them on together and see if it goes because I think that is an absolute vibe for autumn. This is incredible. This is everything I thought it would be and more. The top is so comfortable, so wearable. I love it. I love the one shoulder detail. The only thing I will say about the top is that these straps aren't adjustable which if you've been around on my channel for a while you know I have freakishly small shoulders so it's really annoying when straps aren't adjustable because I do think they will just come down. However, other than that, it's insane. The fit, the drape across the bottom, the colour, everything about it, I'm obsessed. A really, really good price as well. Really wearable, really affordable. Love. The skirt, it just gets better. It just gets better. I know I said I wasn't sure about it being a skirt at the front and then shorts at the back. And I'll be honest, I still don't love it, but I'm willing to put that aside for how good this outfit looks together. Like, this is insane. This paired with a little pair of Uggs for winter, I'm obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. The drape at the top does kind of cover the waistband of the skirt a little bit, so you could ruche it up. I know this tag's super annoying, I need to take that off, but you could ruche it up a little bit if you wanted to, so you could still keep like the detail of the belt on the skirt and like the waistband on the skirt. You could do that. If you didn't mind losing the drape of the top, you could also tuck it in. I guess it depends like which bit you wanted to like accentuate. I do think that looks really cute as well. You could obviously wear it like this sometimes and then wear it over the top sometimes. Like you could just really mix and match with it the skirt does run a tiny tiny little bit big I probably could have done with an extra small I have pulled it in with the belt loss so it does end up working out okay but just for future reference or if you're going to get it you could probably size down one but other than that I think this is a hella cute outfit for autumn like absolutely unreal you can definitely still wear skirts in autumn guys that's what I'm telling myself even with a little pair of tights and a little pair of Uggs unreal I have been seeing waistcoats everywhere 
like waistcoat cords, just waistcoat tops, waistcoats for jeans, like I've been seeing waistcoats everywhere. And I feel like this is a really nice autumn version of a waistcoat because it's knitted, it's thick, it's heavy, it's durable, and it's just given autumn vibes. These buttons are stunning, like this hammered gold button. I absolutely love those. It's in this gorgeous, like khaki, olive green, mustardy colour. Like it's a mix of all the autumn colours just meshed into this one knitted waistcoat, which I absolutely love. I love the little pockets on it. It just looks like it's going to fit really well, really nice and structured and just gorge i got it in a small and i'm kind of wishing i did get an extra small now because the thing with waistcoats is i feel like this fit always comes really far out and then it's quite revealing on the side so i did learn my lesson with that and then i must have forgot when i was ordering this because i did just get it in a small and i do wish in hindsight that i got an extra small but i'm hoping it'll be okay i love the fact that this v isn't too low sometimes with waistcoats like this you feel like it's a little bit too low where you need a top underneath and then i feel like that just defeats the purpose of it it looks like it's going to be a really nice kind of depth there love the little pockets on it it was 29.99 but the quality of this this is heavy like this is actually hurting my arm to hold it up like this is thick heavy chunky knitwear which is perfect for the transition of the seasons like i'm obsessed with this i don't know how i'm going to style it up just yet i do have some trousers that it might go quite nicely with but if it doesn't, definitely just like jeans. I think it's such a classy, sophisticated vibe. So these are the trousers that I thought might go with the top. I'm not sure because the colours are a little bit different on the website. It looked like they were going to match really nice together. But if they don't, I still love the trousers on their own. I love these. I've really been trying to get into trousers. I've said this a couple of times in my hauls. I've been trying to step away from jeans or leggings and wear more trousers just because I feel like it can automatically elevate an outfit you can wear it with a hoodie you can wear it with a sweater and it just looks a little bit more put together than just like leggings in a hoodie like trousers in a hoodie looks like you've got your ish together even if you don't and are these just not the perfect pair of autumn trousers they've got this gorgeous green stripe down the side with this like cream piping all the way down then they're in this gorgeous brown and white pinstripe it's like an olivey browny kind of color one thing i love about these as well is that they've got an elasticated waistband like inside the waistband if you can see that they've almost got like a double waistband like this bit and then this elasticated bit at the top which i think looks good on the trousers like it's just an extra little detail but also it's going to mean that they're a lot more comfortable and they don't feel like they're super restrictive like they're gonna move with you when you eat when you sit down when you stand up that type of thing i think these are going to be a little bit big they do look a little bit big i got them in a small they were 45.99 which is a little bit pricey for a trouser most of my trousers that i have from zara are usually 35.99 so I don't know why these ones were an extra tenner, which I do think is a little bit pricey, but I guess you're paying for the detail, you're paying for the design. They're not just a plain pair of trousers. They were obviously more expensive to make, but stunning. Absolutely stunning. So versatile. We're going to see if they go nicely with that top. If they don't, you can wear them just with a plain top. You can wear them if you've got like any green tops, cream tops, like mix and match. What would look really nice with these is like a plain cream top. And then if you've got like little green accessories, like if you've got a green bag or like green shoes or like green sambas, that type of thing, that will be a vibe. That will be an absolute vibe. So I'm excited to try these on. They do look a little bit big, but we'll see. So this outfit is absolutely insane. Like absolutely insane. I've paired the waistcoat with the brown pinstripe trousers and this is one of my favourite outfits I've worn in a long time. I feel like I'm saying that a lot recently. I think the outfits just keep getting better and better, but this is definitely one of my favourites. Starting with the waistcoat, this waistcoat is 100 out of 10. If you get anything from this haul, make it this waistcoat. It fits like a glove. It doesn't have that gape at the side that I was worried about. It fits really, really nicely. The V is the perfect depth. It's not too low. It's not too high. It fits so, so well. Like it's so comfortable. It feels like buttery soft on the skin. I feel like it's really, really flattering on the neckline. These like gold hammered buttons are absolutely stunning. The colour is stunning, like a gorgeous olivey khaki green. The pockets, everything about this waistcoat is stunning. Like I cannot fault this, it's perfect. If you get anything from this haul, get this waistcoat. I'm obsessed with this and I cannot wait to wear this and style this up with like jeans, different kinds of trousers. Incredible. The trousers had so much potential, so much potential, but they are huge, absolutely huge. I don't know why, sometimes on Zara it says, runs a bit bigger than normal, runs a bit smaller than normal. Like this didn't say anything. So I just went with my normal size. I got a small in these and they're huge. Like I would have needed an extra, extra small. Like they are absolutely huge. If I show you on the waist, like they are just 
coming down on the waist like they're just too big everywhere and it's such a shame because they go so well with the waistcoat and I just love the style of them and because they're so big and low on the waist it means that they're way too long on the bottom like I'm literally traipsing on them on the bottom I'll tip you down a little bit so you can see if you can see the fit and the length of them there like I'm literally traipsing on the floor on them they're so long so baggy I really like them to be baggy like I would like it if they were a little bit baggy but they just need to be a bit more high-waisted and a bit tighter they are absolutely way too big so i think if you want to go for this combo you can get your size in the waistcoat definitely definitely size down in the trousers i would say at least two sizes like which is wild i don't know why they run so so big but they're just way too big other than the fit the trousers are insane like i love the waistband on them i love that elasticated section and then also like the trousers section i love this pinstripe detail of the green and the cream i love the fact that they've got pockets i love trousers with pockets if it wasn't for the fit though honestly the trousers are insane the quality, the style, the vibe, everything about them is honestly unreal. It's just such a shame about the fit. But what can you do? You can't win them all. I picked up this top just because I thought it was such a good staple to have in my wardrobe. And the fabric of this, it feels insane. I actually got a dress very similar to this in my last Zara haul. It was very, very similar colour, very similar fabric and vibe with like the pin tucks. And it was just like a straight bodycon dress. So I think it might be like... A new collection or new theme that they're doing like this fabric very structured in like tops in dresses like mix and match it was so affordable as well this was 15.99 i got it in a small and i love the color it's in like this sandy beige color like not quite cream not quite white like just somewhere in the middle very tonal very neutral very clean girl but what i love most about it is like the structure on it you can see that like the sleeves are very structured this bit is very structured it kind of goes out at the like the waist bit there and then flares back down you've got your pin tucks at the front pin tucks at the back like it's just a really structured top so rather than just having a piece of fabric that molds to the shape of your top like this will sit in a certain way and i just think it looks a little bit more dressy a little bit more put together rather than just like a plain t-shirt i think it did come in some other colors as well i would be tempted to go back and get this if it came in like black gray maybe brown any other colors because this is a really interesting color to the point where it probably won't go with everything you might need something a little bit more neutral but i do love it i think it's just something a little bit different to keep in your wardrobe this is way better on than it was off the hanger like i liked it on the hanger but on look how thick and tight and structured this is like it's given me so much shape it's really cinching me in at the waist it's given me almost like this shoulder pad effect on the shoulders like really pushing out in that area i just think it looks so snatched that's what it looks it looks sculpted it looks structured it looks put together it looks smart i've just got it on with a plain black pair of trousers and i think it looks smart like this like you could wear this really smart like this you could obviously do it with jeans a little bit more casually you could do like a fun cardigan or something over the top to like make it a bit more funky like there's just so many different ways that you could wear this the fabric is so soft so comfortable like so wearable this is the perfect type of top when you want to go somewhere you want to look dressy but you just want to be comfortable like you know you really just want to go in a gym outfit but you can't really do that you have to wear something this is the top it feels like i'm in a gym top it just feels so comfortable so soft i just feel yeah just comfy it's just easy to wear and i'm not tugging at anything pulling at anything feeling uncomfortable like stretching it like it's just comfortable like i could just sit in this all night and be super super comfortable super stretchy if i wanted to eat anything or anything like that and it just feels like i'm in gym wear so this is the type of top that you need when you have to go somewhere you have to get dressed but you just really don't want to go you really don't want to get dressed this is what you put on it's given ultimate comfort and the color as well it's in like a gorgeous sand color so super wearable goes with everything can't go wrong with this and for the price as well i feel like you can't go wrong the moment you've all been waiting for guys i know you've seen this on the rail and be like when is she going to do the leopard print coat like girl get to the leopard print coat well we have arrived at the leopard print coat i thought leopard print would be done by now i remember doing hauls way back in like march april and leopard print was in and it was just starting to come in and I was buying all the leopard print stuff for the hauls and I was like, yes, in my leopard print era. I was fully sure that by the time autumn winter came around, it will be done. So I've held off buying anything leopard print in the last couple of weeks because I thought any time now, any time now it's going to be done. But it's just not like it just keeps coming and coming and coming. And the fact that they're bringing out autumn winter stuff in leopard print means it's not going anywhere anytime soon. It means it wasn't just a summer trend, a spring trend it's in for autumn winter as well guys and i am absolutely not mad at that i am absolutely here for it ready to go 
with my leopard print coat. This is the perfect autumn piece. It's not necessarily a winter jacket. Well, I mean, it's padded and it is warm on the inside, but I don't think you could wear this in December. Like, you will be freezing. If you're anything like me, you will be absolutely freezing. I swear I'm just, like, cold-blooded. Well, I don't think it's that. I think I'm warm-blooded and that's why I'm always cold. But I am always cold. So this would be no good for me in winter. But if you're one of those people that's just, like, a human radiator, you might be fine because it is quite padded and it is quite thick. I love the press stud buttons on it. The fact that they're black, I think, just looks really chic. Uh, there's no gold or silver on here it's just all black and brown which i really love i think it's the perfect type of jacket where you could wear it open with like a cute outfit underneath or also if you just had something shoved on underneath you could put this on button it all the way to the top and it would still look cute i love the fact that it's got some nice big pockets in there it's just plain all the way down the sleeves and all the way down the back as well i just think it's going to be so comfy so cozy for autumn winter instantly dress up any outfit I think the only downside of this is that it is so bold and so out there that once you've worn it a couple of times, you might feel like you don't want to wear it with every single outfit. And sometimes with the jacket, when you're paying a little bit more for it, it wants to be something that you can wear like over and over and over again. So that's probably the only thing. But if you don't mind like wearing it all the time, then you go for it, girl. It was $49.99. I got it in a small, which yes, it's a little bit pricey, but like I say, if you're going to be wearing it over and over and over again, then you're definitely going to get your money's worth. It is really nice and thick and padded on the inside. If I show you, oh, if I just undo these press studs, you can see like this black fabric on the inside is really thick and really padded. So it does have some warmth to it, but I just love it. I think it's such a statement. I think it's so fun. Love it for autumn and winter. And I'm just happy that Leopard Print here to stay. Like I was a bit sad that I thought she was leaving, but she's not going anywhere anytime soon. So if you've been putting off buying leopard print for the same reason as me, don't waste no more time, girl. Get yourself this. The way I'm obsessed with this jacket is not healthy. I'm literally obsessed with this jacket. First of all, it feels so much warmer and thicker than I thought it was going to. I knew it had a little bit of padding in there, but I kind of underestimated how thick and warm it was going to be. This is definitely going to keep you warm, at least for a couple of months. Like definitely in the run up to winter. It is really nice and thick and really nice and cosy and just comfortable. I love the fit of it. It's not too long. It's not too oversized, but not too tight. Like I just think it's the perfect fit. I just love it. I think it's a vibe. I think it's instantly dressed up this outfit. I've literally just got on black gym leggings and a plain black crop top. Threw this on over the top and I just think it's instantly elevated the outfit. Like I look like I'm dressed. I look like I've made an effort and I'm literally in a gym set. It feels so soft and so comfortable and obviously you could button it up if you wanted to. So if you wanted to do like a full buttoned up vibe, if you do that, it's basically like the outfit. Like it's basically the top if you do that. Like cover up whatever you've got underneath, button it all the way up. And I think it just looks so cool. Like do I not look effortlessly cool in this? Because I feel like I do. If I don't, then just don't say anything, you know? If you've got nothing nice to say, just don't say anything at all. I love it. I don't know what else there is to say about this. I think it's definitely worth the money. I know it's a little bit more pricey, but just wear it 50 times, which you probably will over the course of autumn, winter. And it's cost you a pound a wear. I think a pound a wear is very reasonable. I'm obsessed with it. I'm keeping it. It's a yes from me. What do you think? What do you think of this one? I know leopard print is a little bit of a love-hate relationship for some people. Like some people think I just probably look like Mel B. Or is it Mel C? I don't know. One of the Mel's, but I'm quite happy with that. I don't mind that. Okay, last up, we have this gorgeous co-ord. Now, it's not necessarily a co-ord. It wasn't in the co-ord section. It was just, like, separate that, again, that I decided to pair together because if you know me, you know I am the co-ord queen. I love co-ords. I love anything that's matching. I just think it instantly looks more put together. Like, you've put more thought into your outfit and you just look, like, well-dressed. This little satin waistcoat, yes. Absolutely Yes. First of all, anything satin just looks so dressy, so classy. Here for it. Love it. Black satin backless waistcoat. Immediate yes. Immediate yes. This is the back, which, wow, you've got these gorgeous little straps with the little silver buckles. So it's going to be completely backless and then that's how you like tie yourself in. And then this is the front. I don't know if this opens. I mean, I don't know why you would need to open it, but I think it does have little buttons down there, but they are concealed. I guess that makes it just easier for getting on and off. These are fake pockets, which is slightly annoying, but never mind. And then you've got this halter neck detail at the top. I got this in an extra small, just because with things like this, where you have to like tie yourself into them, I feel like I always like to size down because you can make them tighter, make them looser and just, I'd rather have it a bit more adjustable. And it was $25.99, which I think is a really reasonable price for this because the quality... The satin feels so soft. I think this is so classy, but then like you've got a little bit of skin showing on the back as well. Like it's almost like a work top in the front, 
and then party in the back like this paired with some jeans for like jeans and a nice top or I did get like a skirt to match with it that I think would look really really nice together but I just think it's a really really nice way to elevate an outfit and especially coming up to party season like I know I'm a little bit premature I know it's not Christmas just yet but this for the festive season is a yes it's an absolute yes with like a little black sparkly skirt inject it absolutely this was the skirt that I got to match. It's just a plain black satin skirt. I do have a satin skirt from Zara, like a long satin skirt in cream, and I absolutely love it. That one ran a little bit big and I got it in a small, so I think I got this in an extra small, yeah. And it was $25.99, and it's just a plain black long satin skirt that's like floaty on the bottom, and this is just so versatile. Like this can be worn in all seasons. All occasions, all weathers, just every day to be honest. My cream one is definitely more of a summer vibe, I think, with like a bikini top for the beach or with like just little crop tops and stuff for on holiday and some sandals. Don't get me wrong, the black one could definitely be done the same. Like you could definitely wear this in the summer on holiday, even if you're getting some winter sun over the next couple of months, that you could put this in your suitcase. You could also wear it for work with a shirt or something or a waistcoat, could be really formal and really dressy, but then you could also wear it for a night out, like paired with this waistcoat. And some little black court shoes little black sparkly bag the classiest night out outfit ever or with the waistcoat and a pair of sandals for like more of a daytime vibe like you can just wear it so so many different ways and the price was really reasonable i think i said was it 25.99 25.99 can keep this in your wardrobe for literally forever like not even for years and years like literally forever there'll never be a time where you won't be able to wear a plain black satin skirt like unreal I'm so excited to try this on together. I know it's gonna look insane and now I need somewhere to wear it. I planned on hibernating for the rest of this month after the last few holidays that I've had. I was like, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going out, I'm not eating, I'm not drinking, I'm staying home and I'm hibernating, but now I need somewhere to wear this satin outfit, so something's gonna have to happen. This outfit is everything I had hoped for and more. This is insane. The fabric, the fit, the comfortable level is unmatched. It feels so, so comfortable. The fabric is so soft, that gorgeous satin. I love it. The waistcoat is the perfect depth here of this like V-neck. It's not too low to the point where it's too revealing, but it's not too high to the point where it doesn't like show a little bit of skin. I think that's the perfect depth. The back, look at the back. The back is stunning. That little buckle detail. I love the fact that it's adjustable as well. So you can tie it tighter if you needed it to be tighter. The other thing I love about it is that it feels secure on the sides, like it doesn't feel like if I move it's going to gape on the sides, it feels like it's secure. You could secure it with a little bit of tape if you wanted to, but I feel like it feels secure enough, like I don't feel uncomfortable or like I can't move or I bounce or dance or anything like that. I think it feels really secure on the sides, which I love. I love the fact that the buttons are concealed down the front as well. You do have the buttons there, obviously, to help you get it on and off, but they're concealed, so it just looks super put together, super classy, matched with the little black skirt. The black skirt is a dream, an absolute dream. It runs a little bit big. I did get it in an extra small and even though still, it still feels a little bit big. I don't mind it too much because I do want it to be comfy and just like floaty and not feel too tight. You could definitely eat till your heart was content in this. So definitely at least size down because if I'd have got a small, it would have been way too big. Definitely. This paired together, I just think is the classiest outfit ever. Pair it with some black pointy court shoes, a little black like leather bag unreal absolutely unreal pair the top with a pair of jeans also unreal and then also you can obviously wear the skirt entirely on its own with loads of different tops even the skirt with like a really oversized graphic t-shirt would look really really cool as well so i think you can just mix and match and wear it so many different ways but i love this really really happy it looks just as good on as it did on the hanger okay guys so that is it that is everything i picked up in my zara autumn winter haul i hope you were as excited for autumn winter fashion as I am. Please comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video and where you want me to haul from next. I'm thinking of doing a video of like recreating Pinterest outfits. That might be one of my next videos. I think that sounds like a fun idea. Like finding some really aesthetic Pinterest outfits and trying to like find pieces to recreate them. So let me know if you want to see that. I will leave everything linked down below in case you want to shop anything. Thank you so, so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. While you're here, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.